Hey guys, welcome back. Okay. <clears throat> so, got interrupted. You know, real life happens. So, we were... I was doing exploration. Trying to get this... Uh, this island... Uh, fully exposed, fully explored. We found a little mountain biome right there, which is interesting. Um, made some healing potions. Not going to carry all these around. So we'll split the stack. Thusly. I don't know. Five's probably enough. <clears throat> okay. Um... Let's see, check the carrots. Hello, lag. Um, so far, so good. I don't see anybody going brown on me. Okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, let's check our repairs. Let's get something to eat. So let's hit this, hit the jam, and you see we're carrying four and five, so. That should be fine. And of course, the technique here is we pop through. Now, I want some wooden arrows that I can practice with. I don't want to burn up my good arrows on trash mobs. Come over here. Anything else easy to break while I'm here? Um, yeah, these are easy. I am considering upgrading this axe. But I don't have a ton of extra bronze right now. Yeah, there we go. And so we'll just hit this. Break this down. Cover our stuff. Break this down. Okay, did I... Oh, I didn't make my wooden arrows. Dummy. Alright, I'll do that next time. Did I get all these raspberries? I think I did. I did. Okay. So let's head north. Let's get to exploring. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. I'm not really... I don't care about the deer. Not right now. I care more about exploration. Because I'm wondering if I could get lucky that there might be a swamp biome on this island. I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. But, oh, here's some tin. Oh, okay. Deal with these bucket heads. Oh, it's a crypt. Okay. Okay, let's mark it. Crypts are always useful. Is the sun going down? Dag nabbit. Okay, there's some tin. A fair amount of tin right here. You know what? I need tin. I'm going to have to suspend exploration for a little bit. <laughs> That's Is that tin? That's not tin. I'm losing my mind. thought it was tin. There's some tin. I think I got into this, this particular... Uh, uh, oh, for God's sake. They, You know... <sighs> These gray dwarves have been up my ass ever since I logged in, and I'm so sick of them. Their pathing is so annoying. They're not dangerous. They're just annoying. They really need to work on their gray dwarf pathfinding because they just they they, they run around swinging their arms in the air. Um, all they do is is. Inconvenience you, slow you down. Okay, let's get some tin. Uh. Yeah, 
I'm going to have to portal back here in a second. Oh, I can't portal back. I have 10 on me. Okay. So, I'm going to show you, I'm going to demonstrate a little bitty exploit. <clears throat> You're like, no, don't do it, don't do it. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go one, two, three, four, right? Now, I'm going to log out. Now, if you don't like this, if you think this is cheating, if you think it's lame, don't do it. But I'm going to show you how to do it. And then what you do is you pick another world, specifically a world where you've logged out next to something useful, like, say, a chest. Okay. As I happen to think the, the restriction of moving metal through portals, I think it's stupid. I think it's lame. I think it artificially inflates the, um, the uh, playtime the gameplay time. Okay, there's a little bit of a flaw here this time, but you see up that hill, so I'm gonna have to waddle. My other guy's logged out at the top of this hill. Waddle, waddle, waddle. It'd probably be faster if I just dropped a little tin and then came back and got it. Yeah, it would be. So let's just, you know what? I'll just drop a little wood. There we go. And so we'll run up here. Do, 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 do. <clears throat> okay, so you come up here, and then you put whatever you want to trans. You put the metal in here, and see now you can use portals. And we'll go ahead and get this wood back on us, because um, that'll help us in our. This is we're gonna need to. We gotta flop down a workshop, a work table, and a um. And a portal. Okay, so then you log out. And the game remembers your XYZ coordinates for each of these different servers, different worlds. And now we go back to our original world. Plug in our password. <coughs> you guys are great, but I'm not telling you my password. <laughs> Now, normally, I do this with a lot more ore. You know, I don't bother with just a, such a small load. But I need to go back anyway because it's nighttime. Um, and so what we do is our usual trick. <coughs> flop that down. And flop this down. Label it one. Boom. Um... Am I full? I'm not full. Let's go ahead. Let's let's make sure we're full. I could use some core wood. You know, take advantage of the resources that are here. And then once I get this tin back home, I'll rest. See, now it's nighttime. We need to get the flock out of here. They're going to start spawning armies of gray dwarfs on me, and I don't want to deal with it. I just I just don't want to deal with it. It'll be one silly, crazy <coughs> arms flailing in the air, King's, uh, Keystone Cop, gray dwarf after another, and I'm just not interested in putting up with that crap. Uh, that needs another. That needs another. Okay, so let's put our core wood up. Um, you know, this is getting filled with garbage, and that's just not acceptable. So now we got... One thing you have to remember when you do this, you lose your your rested bonus, so you'll need to attend that, attend to that. Okay, so now we log out. Switch worlds.
got it. And we just grab our stuff and log out. Again, it's this is tedious, but moving lots of lots of ore back with a cart. The cart is stupid. The cart is pure garbage. I mean, if you're if you're hauling a bunch of really light stuff across flat terrain, it's fine. But the minute you try to move more than two or three stacks of ore across any type of terrain that has any type of um, of relief, of elevation, of up, forget it. Just forget it. The damn thing won't move. It's so heavy, you don't have the force to move it. You don't have the the, the strength to pull the damn cart, and it's faster to just lug the shit back and forth by yourself. It's absolutely stupid how inefficient and crappy that card is. I, I just now the, the boats work. Um, but boats boats work. I have I have no no problem with the boats. Um, let's get some uh, we need we need some wood going here. You are gonna need hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, of, uh, of charcoal. It's charcoal. They call it coal, but it's charcoal. So we'll rust. This will get us back our bonus. It'll get us back to the daytime. All the stuff in the, in the smelter, in the charcoal kiln. That will all kick over. Oh, did the carrots... It looks like the carrots might be ready. More carrot soup. Yay! I got carrot soup. Oh, there was one left. Look at that. Okay, now we have ten. That's a good thing. Alright. Do 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 all right. <clears throat> uh, let's mix. Let's make some brass. A uh, bronze. Why do I keep saying brass? What the hell is wrong with me? I tell you what. Bronze is one of the most inefficient. Fuck you. Metals in this game. Fifteen ore to get five metal plates. It's the efficiency is absolutely abysmal. It's really bad. Now the 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 cost of bronze per item is lower. This is you know that that is definitely true. But damn, you know the the amount of of brass you have to you have to hoof around. Okay, uh, the carrots. We need to check the carrots real quick. Ah, you know what? The carrots will be fine. I'm gonna let's let's explore. We're we're in the morning. Let's see if we can get a full day of exploration out of this. And I'll do. I'll do the carrots at the end or offline or I'm assuming anybody watching this doesn't care too much about carrots. Okay, let's break this shit down and get on our way. Uh, blueberries are good. Is that carrot seed? That is carrot seed. That's always welcome. Okay. Uh, where'd the blueberries go? Okay, I... Didn't I just look at blueberries? Well, I'm losing my mind. There we go! <laughs> okay, any more tin? Yeah, there's quite a bit of tin still. Alright, what's up here? Oh, more carrots. There we go. I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, I just want to see what's what. Yeah, there's there's plenty of tin here. Okay. Let's mark it for further exploration or, or exploitation or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> yeah, there's lots of tin over here. Okay. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll come back and do my little my little trick. Was that copper? Wouldn't that... No, not copper. Oh, no, this is the that's the, the, the burial crypt. Okay, I don't need to eat. 
Oh, good lord. Fuck the hell off. Missed my block. Ah! God! Damn it! They just wander around. I hate them. I absolutely loathe gray dwarves, and it's just because of the, pa the, the pathing. They're so annoying. Oh, that's that tin's just laying there. We don't want that to to decay out. Tin's too valuable right now for that kind of shit. More tin right there. All right. Well, I'm not I'm not here to mine, so let's uh let's stay focused on exploration right now. Ooh, shrooms. Yes, please. Need shrooms for carrot soup. And of course, there's more gray dwarfs. There's gray dwarfs everywhere. Everywhere I go, gray dwarfs. Because we want to annoy you. Hmm. Okay, so this is all black forest, which is fine. It'd be great if we... It's asking a bit much to to expect the, uh, the vendor to be... So, oh, God. Now it's a great dwarf army. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. So annoying. Fuck off. I'm not even bothered blocking. I just want... I want them dead. They don't... You, you can see how effective the armor is. Jesus fucking Christ. I hate those things. I absolutely hate them. I do need the wood. <clears throat> There's a chest in there. Oh my god, did I hear another one? Oh, he's in the building, I bet. Alright, how much useless shit did you drop on me? Let me see. I don't want that crap. Uh, actually, it's not too bad. Okay. Now, see these barrels? They can give metals and stuff. So, what's this? Alright, so... What do we got? Um, I got coal. Okay, I need feathers. I do need money. Oh, crap. Okay, we're gonna have to drop something off. Well, that lets me make a... I don't need Grey Dwarf eyes. There we go. There's a Grey Dwarf around here somewhere. I heard him mucking about. Oh, good, it's raining. Great. That'll fuck up our stamina regen. That's just wonderful. Thanks, game. I so appreciate it. I tell you, it seems like every time I jump in my ship, a storm blows in. Get this island and ooh, thistle. Oh, oh I eh. thistle is so important, guys. It's, it's just every single thistle you see, pick it up. It's it's just I yeah, you know I could have an entire uh, an entire chest of thistle, and it wouldn't be enough. It's used in so many recipes, and they're all... I mean, my, um, my main, my high-level guy, I, st I have to make dedicated thistle runs where I just, I just go into the, into the Black Forest and just sprint looking for nothing but thistle. It's, it's just amazing how necessary it is. Let's put another 10 marker. Just to let me know. There's lots of tin around here. Now, the bad thing about this technique, if I were to stumble onto, let's say, the plains, which I shouldn't, I don't think you'll encounter the plains biome on your starter island. But if I were. And we heard bzzz, and I got one shot by a death mosquito. This would be one annoying corpse retrieval because we don't have any waypoints leading out here. 
It would be a very difficult corpse run. Especially with the death skeeto camping your corpse. Been there. More tin. Wow. Yeah, this is all about reconnaissance. And so, knowing where all these resources are, uh, knowing what's in the area, is it's literally worth its weight in gold. You know, with this be a with this being a procedurally generated world, um, you know, locking these things. Finding where these things are and where they are in relationship to each other will help you decide where you want your other bases, if you want other bases, you know, and um, where you want them to be to be located. All right, and this is a really big island. Damn. I mean, look at this. <laughs> I mean, it might be big enough for Swamp. I don't know. This is only the third world I've played in. So I don't know what's possible and what's impossible in terms of the uh, how the world is procedurally generated. But you start to see this this mixture of, of, of terrestrial and aquatic environment and you, know, you can't help but think swamp, and then you know I can't help but hope, because my um, in my mains game, I had a bitch of a time finding real swamp. You know, I, I found little strips of it, but I had to I had to take some some prolonged sea journeys to uh, to find any real uh, swamp biome. And it got a tad dangerous. And I mean, this would be faster in a boat. But, I'm also here for resources. I want to gather this stuff up. Is there another thistle in there? Oh, for God's sake. Fuck off. God! Just running around. I've forgotten how annoying Grage Works are. Fuck you. Just die. No, oh, Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. Man, this storm is annoying. Fuck off. I had a three day storm one game. It really got old. Let's see here. Morton. Oh man, I try to. Avoid getting wet, but e you got to be really careful with the plains biome because the the death mosquitoes patrol about oh, about 50 meters or, or even a little deeper uh, into the into the surrounding biomes, and if you're in the black forest and there's a lot of undergrowth, oh. There, bars of patrol. Oh, he's coming in hard. Got you, bitch. Got you, bitch. There we go. That is how you face tank a troll. <laughs> and I I don't 
think I even care about those troll hides. Yeah, I don't. I don't care. No, I don't. I don't think troll armor is that good. I really don't. Now, what you can do, you can use that troll hole as a base. As far as I know, I have never seen a troll respawn. And so we're getting down to two minutes. So we might want to seriously consider heading home. And let me see here. Do I have... I do. Oh, for fuck's sake. Piss off. God, I hate gray dwarves. They're just so annoying. Okay, so let's mark this. Let's go 10, and then let's go, did it, uh, get around the dam. So let's go in here, and let's clear out the troll. We'll sneak up on him. Sneaky deal. I'm going to sneak up on the troll, we'll shoot him in the back, because, you know, that's what I do. Oh, I won't shoot him in the back. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay. We're going to have to... Ow. Should have rolled out of that. I'm going to have to hit a... As long as he attacks like that... Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, hit the wrong button. Ah! Damn it! Keep hitting the wrong fucking button. Okay. Man, I screwed that all up. Okay. So the troll is dead. Long die to the troll. Let's see what's in his chest here. That's actually some pretty useful, semi-useful stuff. Okay, so what you can do is, this is now your cave. Uh, you can build in here. And so you can drop this. I think you can drop this down. I know you can drop a... Okay, maybe you can't. You, you can put a campfire in here. Okay, screw that. They won't let you do it. Okay. I thought they would. You can put a campfire in here. I see, so you can do this. And you can get dried off. And drop the wood on it. But, there's no place, it's, it appears, there's no place that they will allow a work table, a workbench. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Okay, so you, you can't build a base proper in here. Okay. We need to go back anyway. Our pack is full. Well, it did stop raining. I don't know. Let me see. Oh, I need my rested bonus. Okay. So let's go ahead and... Okay, so you can put it here. If you get it in... Yeah, see if you get it right there. Okay, you won't, you won't zone in and you're sheltered. Okay. And... So will do. Oh. Way to go, dummy. Wow. Boy, did I fuck up. Alright. Major fuck up there. I'm out of Grey Dwarf eyes. Huh. Wow. You dumb son of a bitch. Alright. So now I gotta find a Grey Dwarf spawner. And kill the aforementioned annoying gray dwarfs. Boy, did I just screw up. <sighs> Fuck me. It's too early in the morning for this shit. God damn it. You know what? Let me go back and get the campfire buff. <sighs> really don't want to wander around without your rested bonus. Shit! God 
damn fucking moron. Get your head out of your ass and wake up. Alright. Same comfort three. Oh, we get our rested bonus. Get some Grey Dwarf eyes. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm, I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna soldier on with the eight-minute buff. And when we get enough Grey Dwarf eyes, we'll... I mean, that's that's a ten-minute buff. There's nothing wrong with a ten-minute buff. Uh, there's a pearl on the ground. Uh, come on! Damn laggy game. Alright. Stack that there. Uh... God, those pearls are really valuable. Um, why didn't I pick it up? What? What are you doing, game? <sighs> Alright. Okay. Uh, okay, I don't have to carry around charcoal. I really want these rubies. They're valuable. I want to buy my damn belt. The minute I find the vendor, I want to buy the belt. Alright, let's go. We don't want to burn through our food. God, I can't. Oh, fuck. Man. Is it, is it going nighttime on me? It's going nighttime on me. Alright. We're gonna need some extra wood. I gotta make a bed. I don't like doing this. Because this messes up your spawn point. Oh. Work. Well, I need Grey Dwarf eyes, so yeah, come on. Come on, Grey Dwarfs. This, this actually works out. Yeah, fuck off. We need him because dumbass threw his Grey Dwarf eyes on the ground. And he doesn't remember where he did it. Because, once again, see the aforementioned title of dumbass. You feel cold. Yeah, fuck that. Okay, we're gonna make a bed. We'll sleep in our, our troll hole. <laughs> and I think this will up us to a... Uh, to a four comfort level. Oh no, you can't build in here. Okay, so so much for that plan. All right, come here. This game is really getting on my nerves this morning. All right, so we need. We need a fire, and we need it close enough to the... We need it close enough so we don't get smoked. Alright. There. Alright. And then we sleep. Now what you can do... Um, because there's a, a campfire and a work table here, stuff on the ground won't time out. Okay? And so... What we'll do is we will... Yeah, we gotta keep our stone. We gotta keep at least five stone. So we'll drop 20 on the ground. Because it is kind of heavy. Alright, let's... How many Grey Dwarf eyes do we have? We need seven more. I'm not going to backtrack. I'm just going to push in. Um, how much wood do we... We can always chop more wood. So, yeah. That's a little... Ad hoc. Um, yeah. So we'll go here. And we'll do Troll Base. That'll let us know that we can indeed return here. Uh, I'm going to push into the interior. 
So, there's some more tin. Jeez. Mm, ah, blueberries. Yeah, for blueberries. <clears throat> Thistle. Yes, thank you. Okay. We got all... You know what? Um, this is going long. I'm going to stop the video and we'll start right back up.